Well, just hours ago, for the first time in American history, the U.S. House voted to remove Speaker Kevin McCarthy, a Republican from California. The push for removal coming from Florida Republican Representative Matt Gates, with seven other Republicans joining Democrats in the 216 to 210 vote. Chris Rapsky is at the live desk with reaction and what's next. Yeah, Julie, we're starting to hear reaction from Minnesota representatives on this unprecedented move to oust the speaker. The Minnesota uh, votes, at least in the House, split by party lines. None of the Republicans voted to remove the speaker, though, like eight other members of the party, as you just mentioned. Representative Michelle Fishbach is the second Republican that we've seen a statement from. We just got one from Pete Stauber moments ago. She says, quote, in, this, in the last nine months, Speaker McCarthy stood up to Democrats and forced President Biden to agree to the largest federal spending cuts in a decade. He ended the omnibus bill process, and now Congress is working on 12 separate appropriation bills, as it should. He opened an impeachment inquiry against President Biden. She says, I am truly disappointed that all that work is going to be halted until another speaker is elected, end quote. Democratic Representative Dean Phillips said after the vote, quote, I'm disappointed that former Speaker McCarthy chose not to work with Democrats, reform Congress and make it work as intended. An historic missed opportunity to demonstrate bipartisanship and restore faith in our government. I'll be working to do so with the next speaker, end quote. And uh, Congressman Pete Stauber just had harsh words for Matt Gates, who split off from the Republican Party along with those seven others. He says, quote, Matt Gates and a handful of other selfish Republicans have no interest in governing. So in more in-party fighting right there. Uh, Tom Emmer's name has been brought up as potentially the next speaker. He's the majority whip. Uh, we have not heard from him yet tonight. Julie, Randy, back to you. All right, we'll see if his opinion changed after this vote. Thank you, Chris.